Thousands of more people will be able to cast ballots in the next election. That's because of a new law allowing felons to vote as soon as they leave prison. Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us now with more as some registered to vote today. Rob. You know, it's been over a month now since the Minnesota law changed to allow those who've been convicted of felonies but released from prison but still under supervision the right to vote. There's been a lot of efforts to remind people of this change, but today the League of Women Voters and some state officials, another effort from them to, again, get this message out. In the hallway of the federal courthouse in Minneapolis, the League of Women Voters set up an information table as part of a campaign to remind tens of thousands of Minnesotans who couldn't vote before that they can now. So we're excited about the momentum um, and getting that word out we know is really, really important. This is one of six such sites where they're doing this, also in courthouses and libraries in major cities across the state. So that felons who've been released from custody but remain on probation understand that as of June 1st, the law changed and their voting rights restored. We know that people who are more connected to their communities and engaged with their communities actually uh, are uh, less risk of coming back into the system. And that is an important public safety objective. Signed into law in March, the Restore the Vote push had been two decades in the making. Gave voting rights back to some 55,000 Minnesotans who are on supervised release for a felony, but they know that there remains confusion. We're doing nothing more than educating uh, while simultaneously collect connecting persons under supervision with a local community resource, i.e. the League of Women Voters. The new law is now being challenged in court by a conservative group who argue the Constitution requires a full felony felony sentence be served, including probation. But while that plays out, they say the law is still changed. It's full steam ahead. We are implementing this law as the legislature and the governor intended and as the law commands us to do. So we're doing that. Secretary of State Steve Simon there saying he's pretty confident that the constitutional language is on the side of the new law and this uh, lawsuit challenging it will not prevail. But again, that is still going through the court process. Now, these uh, sort of pop-up information registration sites for the League of Women Voters will continue. They'll move around a little bit at various locations, but they say they want to get people registered and to remind them, too, they can also just do so online at minvotes.org. Live in Minneapolis, Rob Olson, Fox 9.